Atlanta United 2 on their way in with a 3-5 and 1 mark. And we are getting the start for Atlanta United 2. Played his college soccer at Columbia. Broke the Ivy League record for career goals against average. A minuscule 0.51. You're going to win a lot of matches. Great talent and had an opportunity to see him last year. He was a guy who was highly scouted by multiple organizations. And he ends up in a great program that, you know, to be honest, good chance to move up. And that's just not saying because of it. Mustard on the hot dog and it's over and out. The throw in coming up for Bethlehem Steel. Just underway here in Chester, Pennsylvania. At just 16 years old, Devin, you're a former pro. What's, what's that like when you step out on the pitch at 16 years old? And you're, you're going against guys, they're playing for money, they're playing to eat. The first, and it's just how do you express yourself? And a lot of these guys struggle with that, but you know, Romero hasn't necessarily been one, getting a good opportunity with the Bethlehem Steel to continue his growth in this beautiful game. He will be opposed, by, especially after that performance last week that you saw, Devin. Two goals in two minutes. Fifty-fifty ball headed ahead by Steve Kingay. Kingay said it. Youngsters, where going forward, it's just not necessarily a cohesive unit. You'll get three, four players stepping together, and it'll leave gaps here and there. So when you're tracking back, it leaves you extremely exposed on the counterattacking side of things. I love the way you put that too when we talked pre-match where you said when you're a youngster you come in your focus is on hey let, let's get to the goal let's get to the goal it, it part big match between these two sides separated in the table by just one point as we mentioned in the open both sides coming in struggling a bit and that was following a very good run of play a takeaway by Samuel. Samuel threads the needle up ahead. Shot! It's blocked as well. Boy, Shivani Willis gave one a go. But the door was closed by Dylan Castanera. The 60-40 edge with the possession. And that's with the goal lead. Steve Kingay on the right side. Now stepping through is Ferris. And as, as you take a look from your chair, what, what have you seen so far? Massive amounts. <laughs> it's, it's really interesting, the movements from Atlanta, too. Quite impressive, to be honest. So pretty much going to occupy the nine up top. Hernandez moving side to side, allowing Kisadu to cut in and then overlapping out on the left. Asiadu is, is sitting. He, he's definitely sitting in the holding midfielder role to make sure that they don't get broke. Able to track it down. He works back to goal. Samuel makes a spin. He's dispossessed. It's taken away by Steve Kingay. Kingay to back. Famu slides it over to the keeper, Romero. Romero has been busy. Via all USL Championship at USL Championship. Not a tweet with the hashtag you see in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Let us know your thoughts. Sent in. This one will not find its mark. Yosef Samuel will outlet. And Samuel's taken down, and this could be a card as well. Let's see. Olivier Baizo played a match for the Philadelphia Union last year. Speaks to the fluidity Devin Kerr was talking about between the two organizations. Six shots for Atlanta United, two. Four for Bethlehem Steel. Official says play on. Up until two weeks ago with one of the announcers that we all have the, I guess we can call it pleasure, of doing a game with Tyler Terrence. I hadn't touched a, rem a remote control for a video game in almost a decade. So here comes a restart for Atlanta United, two. Yeah, was the target, but instead playing it away to Kingay. He will win a foul call. Group and then come back out. James Chambers sends it inside the box, and it's headed out. Kingay does well to keep it. Siobhan Metcalf will drop it back.
Luis Fernando a little too heavy, but able to rescue things. Again, we've seen this a couple of times here so far tonight. Cross sent ahead. Jackson Conway, the target. It's played away. Possession. They scored back in the 11th minute. They've been able to make it hold. Kissadu mixing it up. The whistle sounds. I was really impressed with all of the movement we saw in the midfield, to be honest. I mean, it's very difficult on a regular basis for Brendan Dork's boys to really track everybody. Communication is key, but I have to stay with your. Allow and continue their goal scoring ways. They put up three this weekend. Cross sent into the box. Touched away, running up, right foot blast is wide of the goal. Line, or with the positioning that he had, just stick it right back where it came from. You put it down the middle and they get a good opportunity. It doesn't matter the sport. When you're a defender, yeah. the middle is bad. Very, the middle very is not much your so. friend. No. It's the middle of the field, center back and soccer, same deal. Sideline sprint. 48th minute. Whistle sounds as Yosef Samuel taken down. At the top of the 18 was Conway. Just couldn't catch up to it. Gets to do again. Turns around. Jose Hernandez. Gives it up to Bethlehem Steel. Now making a run. Galena. Over the year in 2007 with the University of South Carolina. Played five matches for the New York Red Bulls in 2012. Now here's Paris making his move. Joseph Samuel in a bid to give Atlanta United a two goal lead and he bangs it off the left post. But not on paper, <laughs> it's a stop on paper. Corner curled in, flicked on, was loose inside the six. So far, some decision making has been poor. Will Vint has come on and really hasn't shown him everything he wanted to from the substitute. They've had some looks and he's just gone the other direction. Kissadu has faded from the match.